are you playing with your meat, Mike? I am. What are you making? Well, I'm making mixed meat. Mixed meat? Yeah. I'm making beef jerky. Beef jerky? Out of ground beef. Wow. How fancy. What's that? Seasoning? Seasoning. Hey guys, welcome to TCR, Sid, Mike, thanks for clicking on the video, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Well, Mike has finished messing with his meat. Mixing up a batch of meat right here. Now it's time to make some jerky. <laughs> so we're using the Judge Jerky Gun today, we're going to use this with some ground beef, and if that's something you guys aren't used to, you're going to make your own jerky today, and it's a lot of fun, so let's get to it. All right, so as you guys saw earlier, I snuck up in the kitchen while Mike was actually getting this mixed up, but Mike, why don't you tell them what you were mixing into the meat there? Look, there's a whole bunch of camps out there about beef jerky, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into all of the camps about beef jerky. Some people like to slice whole muscle. That's a really common thing. What we're doing here is a ground beef version. We're gonna be using a press in order to do that. What I did is I mixed all my spices and my curing salt into my ground beef. Now, there's another camp when you do make jerky out of ground beef where people talk about how much fat content you want. Some people are saying you want the leanest ground beef you can get, and some people like the fat. I personally like the fat. I'm going with an 80-20 here, ground. So that means there's 20% fat in here. You have to be really careful if you're using that high of a fat content that you're not trying to store this for too long because the fat will go rancid even though the meat is in a shelf stable state once we're done with this. So this is only six pounds right here. This is not gonna last long enough to go rancid but if I was trying to make 25 or 30 pounds and I was gonna store it on the shelf then I would go ahead and use a very lean ground beef. I purchased this Legs brand uh, and, I, and I bought a kit that has actually uh, several different seasonings in it, okay? Hot teriyaki, Cajun teriyaki, pepper jerky, teriyaki, regular teriyaki, and then the regular just beef jerky, which is the recipe I'm doing right now. Uh, and it also comes with these packs of curing salt. These curing salts are uh, sodium nitrate and they help with the whole boxalism thing and you can do your own research on that and whether or not you think that I'm the devil for using it. I don't care, I'm using it. Each of these packs is for 25 pounds of meat. Basically what I did is I divided it in half using a gram scale, then divided it in half again. That's close enough to six pounds, I'm happy. And that's what I mixed in here. Annie, get your gun. Time to load up my gun here. So I'm gonna get some of this loaded in. And I've got, I borrowed this from my meat grinder to help shove this down inside. And I don't want any comments, people. I don't want any comments. I know I'm gonna get them. Just edit yourself, people. That's what I'm gonna say. Just edit yourself, okay? We all know. We all know what you're thinking. Let's just know that we know together. What are they thinking? I don't want to. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, mental note, don't push it too far down. Get stick. Is that an overshare? That was an overshare. It might have been an overshare. <laughs> it's definitely more resistant the more full it is. Now that I've got my caulking gun filled with the ground sausage meat stuff. I'm gonna take my little ring here and slip it over. It's not sausage. You know what I meant. Whatever, you know what I mean. The, the ground up stuff, which is like, you know. Anyway, so you're gonna stick this through here and you're gonna put it on here and you're gonna turn it like so. And then you aim it at your husband and you fire the trigger. No, that's not accurate. Keep going. It's too thin. It's too thin? 
Well, it's starting to get too thin. It needs to be consistent. I'm trying, babe. And then uh, whoa, whoa, push down on the pan and pinch it off. There you go. Uh, whoa, 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 I'm whoa, to make it you happy. Go? No, don't, don't do that. Don't Mama, make it happy. Don't be rude. You need to keep it the same thickness. You need to move away as you squeeze so that it stays the same thickness. It's like the weirdest icing. I was just going to comment that it's a good thing you're not a pastry chef. Yeah, I'm not. You know what? And that's okay. You want to, You think you can do better? I'm doing the next one. You're doing the rest of them. This Stop. This is your project. You're really talking. Ah, ah. You're talking smack. Yeah, I'm talking smack because I don't think you could do it any better than I did. I think you're going to see. We'll see. Hold on. Let's see, Mr. Flapping Your Jaw. Ah, look at that. See? You suck too. Now what? Look at Yours is all broken and jacked up. Now what? Now what? That's like not even... See? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? You're talking a lot. Yeah, so? Yours is all jacked up. Look at that, look at that hot mess. Look at that beautiful strip. And then look at that hot mess next to it, see? Whoa, you're over there talking smack. I jacked my first one up. My second one is basically perfect. And all yours were jacked up. Not all mine were jacked up. Why are you so rude? First of all, that entire gun is longer than my arm. And yours looks just like mine. On that second one, so I don't hear it. I just want to say that yours looks exactly like mine, except your first one looks all jacked. I just want the record to show. You didn't do it any better than I did it. Look at that. Look at that. What's that? Oh, it's not even. Keep it even. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now what? What's up, Alec Baldwin? Whoa. Don't Easy with the Baldwin jokes. I can say what I want. Now we're going to load some of these up. We're going to make some of the round ones. So we did a bunch of them as flat ones that we put in the oven. We're gonna do those at 200 degrees until they feel right. And then we did some round ones, kind of like Slim Jims, that we're gonna put in the dehydrator, set it on the jerky setting, which is like 175 degrees. And those are thicker, so they're gonna and their uh, lower temperature, which is ideal. They're gonna have to go a lot longer. These are probably gonna go like 12 hours. All right, we are two hours in. Let's see what we got. time to flip them. I think what we're going to do is pat them off and get some of that oil off of them. All right, then we're going to just get them all flipped over. I consolidated them into two pans and patted off all the fat. And now we're going to put them back in the oven. All right, this is uh, about five hours in the oven still a little flexible but it breaks it's dry so that's about five hours in the oven there and then this is about 12 hours in the dehydrator for the round slim jim ones and again still a little flexible but if I try to bend it too far it's gonna break so we know that it's dehydrated and now let's weigh it. So we got just over a pound of the flat ones. Let's add these on there. See if we can get them all on there. And there it is. Two, just about two and a quarter pounds. And we started with six and a half pounds of ground beef. So, you do the math. Over here, we've got the fat that came out of this. I'm gonna weigh that. 224 grams of fat that I poured out of the pans. That's not counting the fat that I patted off with the 
paper towels. That's just what I poured out of the pans, 224 grams. All right, so Frankie's going to uh, taste test these. Um, we've got the two different kinds. So we've got the two different bags here. We've got the one that was done in the oven and the one that was done in the dehydrator. I know which one I preferred. I tried these already. Frankie, which one? Ow. Which one? Should I go ahead and try them? This one's good. I mean, it's a little saltier than I would typically prefer. Mm -hmm. But his first try, I know that he tried to do the actual recipe, go by the book. So try try the other one then, see which one you... This one was going to dehydrate. Mm -hmm. It's definitely softer. I liked that one better. I thought, that, I thought it just turned out better overall. Like, I completely agree. Yeah. So I think next time Daddy says he's going to do beef jerky in the oven, we're going to tell him no. Yeah, the dehydrated one is a bit a softer. Lot, it's a lot better. It's, it tastes much better. Yeah, I don't know why the taste is different. Like, it tastes it tastes yeah. like one got seasoned and the other didn't, which doesn't make any sense. It's, but. It tastes like this one's just salt. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can get all the notifications of every time we post. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>